about $185 in groceries, two stores, and a meal plan. Let's get going. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and every Saturday I share a grocery haul. Lately I've taken the meal plan out, but all of y'all are like, where is the meal plan? So I am sharing the meal plan again this week. I went to two stores, spent about $185 total. I will have all the breakdowns and all that good stuff in the description box below. So the two stores that I went to are Trader Joe's and Walmart. I actually did a poll on my Instagram asking which store I should shop at and everybody was, there was like three stores, Trader Joe's, Walmart, and HEB. I always shop at HEB, love HEB, typically go to Trader Joe's once a month and it has been a little while so I was like, you know what? Trader Joe's won by one vote, <laughs> so I went to Trader Joe's. However, I didn't find everything that I was looking for, so I did go to a Walmart to pick up a few snack items and to make use of Ibotta and get some money back for myself. So let's get into the meal plan first. I have been taking pictures of some of the dinner, so I'll pop those up as I go over the meal plan, and then we will get into the grocery hauls. So we are going to dive into the meal plan and this is from August 26th to September 1st. I am super excited for the fall to arrive and it start getting cooler because it has been a very, very hot here lately. So we're going to start with Monday, August 26th, um, blueberry muffins for breakfast, lunch, PB and J and all the lunches I kind of wrote down what I made the kids for their lunch box dinner we did bunless burgers with broccoli and fries banana ice cream enjoyed making that you guys are actually going to see a banana themed video coming up because I made a few things with some bananas I had in the freezer Ham, egg, and cheese waffles. You guys have already or should have already seen this video. Snack box, it's kind of just like a homemade Lunchable. So pork tenderloin with sauerkraut and salad. I could not find sauerkraut at the store, so we actually have not made this yet. We're going to have this later on in the week. Wednesday, bagels for breakfast. This is also going to be in an upcoming video. I already shared one breakfast freezer meal, but I actually did six recipes total and I'm breaking it up into two videos. So bagels will be coming up, hot dogs for lunch, and then the lemon chicken. You guys will see this in the grocery haul. Found this at Trader Joe's. Lemon chicken with green beans and cob corn, corn on the cob. And then Thursday, breakfast, biscuits, and sausage gravy. I have yet to make this. I keep putting it on the meal plan and it just never happens, but one day, one day it'll happen. Quesadillas for lunch. This is something that is super easy to whip up in the morning for my kids' lunch boxes. And then leftovers for dinner. I really want to make sure that we are cleaning out the fridge, you know, one or two times a week so it doesn't get overflowing or anything. Friday cereal for breakfast. This is definitely a go-to for us. School lunch, the kids eat lunch at school once a week. Next week will probably be different. They'll probably eat school lunch um, probably all three days that they're at school just so we can make sure that we have a clean fridge. I don't wanna buy anything extra, but we'll see about that. Dinner, fish with collie rice. I actually did not do fish. I did scallops and shrimp, um, and I just cooked them super easy in a skillet that was actually already in a video as well but this collie rice was really really good i loved it definitely will pick that up again from costco saturday we are going to do a quiche for breakfast i put eat out question mark because my husband and i our anniversary was actually on tuesday our nine year anniversary but we're going to go out on saturday run some errands pick up some last minute things for our disney vacation next week so i think we will probably eat out and my kids will stay here, Paige can watch them, my parents can watch them, all that good stuff. And then dinner, we're going to do either fin for yourself or breakfast for dinner. Um, something super easy, again, cleaning out the refrigerator because we are not going to be here all of next week. Sunday, I put sausage frittatas for breakfast. This was something super easy to meal prep. A snack plate, again, just eating out stuff from the fridge, making sure we get all that lunch meat and cheese fruits and veggies all eaten up. And then because it is Labor Day weekend, Monday the kids do not have school, nobody has work, um, we're doing a family barbecue. So I'm not sure what we're eating, but I know I'm bringing a big salad. And then I think we still have s'more 
ingredients left over from the summer. So I think we're gonna do some s'mores um, for the kids. But that is what was on the meal plan this past week. So Trader Joe's first. Total was $115.98, but I will pop up the prices of each individual item like I did last week because you guys really seem to enjoy that. So first off, I am splurging and like Nicole Burgess would say, living my best life. <laughs> and I picked up my favorite gnocchi from Trader Joe's. This is so good. The ingredients actually are not that bad either. It's really just potatoes and cheese. So I went ahead and picked this up for myself. I love having this for a quick lunch. It is super delicious. I picked up some sprouted wheat sourdough bread. My oldest daughter loves this stuff. So I went ahead and got that for her. I saw this and and I am excited to try this out. I probably will have my husband maybe grill some stuff. The weather has been really, really nice here lately. And it is just called South African Smoke Seasoning Blend. So let's see. And it is a grinder. So it's, you know, got the bigger pieces. But all it is is paprika flakes, sea salt, garlic, and basil. So I'm excited to try that out. All right, completely out of cocoa powder. So I got the Trader Joe's unsweetened cocoa powder for a few different recipes. This is the cereal, although we've been picking up the cinnamon one from HEB that the kids have liked instead of the way carby and sugary cereals that we did last year for school. However, Trader Joe's didn't have the cinnamon, they just had the original. So I went ahead and picked this up. The kids have not tried the original yet, um, but we'll see if they like it. Been picking this up every single week, one gallon of organic whole milk. And then I did see that Trader Joe's still has the coconut cold brew coffee concentrate. This makes four 12 ounce cups of coffee. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. Another thing that my oldest daughter enjoys is the lemon basil pasta salad. So I picked this up. Um, we only go to Trader Joe's about once a month. So definitely like to get that for her. Saw this, have not picked this up before, but it looked really, really good. And I know my kids would love it for in their lunch boxes or for myself and my husband for a quick lunch. But it is just an all natural um, salami and provolone cheese. So it's got you know a few pieces of the cheese here and then the salami here. Picked up some oven roasted turkey breast for my kids for lunches as well. And then actually for my dogs, I got this whole chicken, going to cook this in the crock pot and I might cook some rice as well. Shred this, mix it with a little rice and this is their dog food, well part of their dog food for the week. Um, and this is just a whole chicken, no seasonings, nothing, just chicken with bones. So I thought this looked really, really good. I've never tried anything like this before. It's called spatch cooked or spatchcocked, sorry, lemon rosemary chicken, and it is butterflied whole chicken, and it just looks really, really good. So definitely going to uh, enjoy making this this week for dinner, and hopefully it tastes as good as it sounds. All right, this was something, um, I don't know if this is new to Trader Joe's, but I've never purchased it, and I definitely wanted to give it a try. So it is sparkling water with natural blueberry lemonade flavor. Sound really, really good, so I definitely wanted to give that a try. Then we've got some produce. Got these teeny tiny avocados, six count. I thought that was cute. My husband was actually with me in the store, and he picked these up. Got some little jazz apples for the kids, just for snacking or lunch boxes. All right, I think I'm gonna share another video on what my husband takes for lunches because I think he's going to do quite a few different lunches this week. He got some asparagus and some bok choy. So I'll be sharing that if you guys wanna see that in a future video, give this one a big thumbs up. I got a head of lettuce. We're gonna be doing some burgers this week, bananas for breakfast for the kids. And then this is kind of like the trio that we pick up every single week now. The kids absolutely love it. We got some raspberries some organic blueberries, and then a large two pound um, package of organic strawberries. And this is gone within less than a week for sure. Went ahead and just picked up one cucumber. I do have a few left over from last week, so I didn't need two or three this week. And then my husband picked this up as well for himself, organic baby broccoli. Got a large tomato, this is for burgers as well. And then I went ahead and picked up three 12 packs of the pasture raised large brown eggs. I definitely need to pay attention to how many eggs we go through and really um, make a note for when we go to Costco 
once every month or two that way we're picking up the right amount because they're definitely cheaper at Costco but these were cheaper than the ones that I picked up at HEB so again I got three packages of those because we are a family of six and we go through eggs like crazy but that is everything from Trader Joe's for this week. Okay, and Walmart. So I actually picked up a few things not on my list. I also picked up some fun things, well fun. I picked up some extra stuff from Ibotta deals and I do not have the receipt on me when I'm filming this. My husband Mark keeps the receipts and enters them and all that good stuff so I don't have the total but I will have it listed down below. So we're gonna start with the Ibotta deals. I'll have my Ibotta link down below but I did get money cash back on these items right here I already submitted it and all of these went through perfectly so my husband loves the Zevia and the only bad thing about Walmart is they don't have a very good variety when it comes to um, the Zevia the two good yogurts are on Ibotta but those are not at my Walmart they're only at HEB so just give and take depends on what store you go to but the only Zevia that Walmart has is in ginger is the ginger ale so I picked up one six pack for him now this is something new so my whole family loves the baby bell cheeses and another thing I love about Ibotta is that they have deals on new items so these are called mini rolls and I'm assuming by the picture you it's like string cheese you pull it apart like this I don't know but that's what it looks like so I figured this would be something fun and different to pack in the kids lunch boxes so I got that this is something tried and true. Um, we picked this up last time. My kids ate it all up. So I went ahead and picked up two more packs. It's definitely one thing we are out of snack foods for the kids when they go to school. So I got two boxes of these this time. They both, um, I think it was a limit of three to five on Ibotta. So I got the blueberry acai and fig. They each have five little snack packs inside. And then I got the strawberry chia and fig. The kids absolutely love the strawberry. So got those. And then I was really happy to see Duke sausages on Ibotta because this is something that we pick up pretty regularly. I did opt for the hot and spicy. My husband is the only one who eats this one. And then everybody else in the house loves the original so this is something that I do pack in the kids lunch boxes from from time to time as well so that's everything I got a rebate on and then like I mentioned I picked up a couple extra items <laughs> I saw this and I was like oh my goodness so I am making biscuits and gravy for breakfast this coming weekend and that is not a favorite for my children just my husband and I enjoy that. So I went ahead and picked this up. That way they had something fun and different for breakfast as well. And this is the Pillsbury Sweet Biscuits with icing and they have chocolate chips in there. So it kind of reminded me of a cinnamon roll. They are calling them biscuits, but I figured with the icing and the chocolate chips, it would be good with some like scrambled eggs and fruit for breakfast. So I picked that up. I think the kids are gonna get a kick out of trying that. And then I also picked up some new bars for them. This is something that I definitely like to have on hand it just makes it easy to throw in their backpacks for school snacks this is called this bar saves lives kids I got the s'mores blast there's five bars in each box and then I got the chocolate chip dynamite so this one says safe school safe includes a full fruit and veggie serving nut dairy and soy free recipe made in a peanut free facility and then this one says made with fruits vegetables clean ingredients made without nuts dairy soy and gluten so it also says on here when you buy a box you send food to children in need so i went ahead and picked these up they are a little on the pricey side i have been popping up prices so you guys can see what we're paying in my area in walmart um, but I did want to give them a try and hopefully the kids like that. Speaking of kids, I did pick up some stuff for my oldest. Now she loves these sides. She pretty much has them for lunch. So I picked up two. I got the creamy garlic shells and the four cheese pasta. Um, these are pretty cheap as well. And then she went on a, she's been gone for the past two weeks. This was actually the first week that she was home for the full week. And um, while she was gone, she tried some of these green giant steamer bags and was like, mom, next time you go to the store, just pick up a variety and I wanna try some new ones and, and all that good stuff. And so when I was looking at them, I was like, oh, those are pretty cool for either lunches for her or for all of us. If I'm making something that I know the kids aren't huge fans of, this is something easy for me to have on hand for me to whip up as an extra side, just in case like they're not all huge fans when we make fish, but my husband and I love fish. So this would be something perfect for that, which we have on the menu. 
So I got her the cheesy rice and broccoli. It is lightly sauced. Again, these are just steamers, so she can just pop them in the microwave. It's got broccoli, rice, and cheese. Then I thought this looked really good and something that I could have also for lunch. And this is the Mediterranean blend seasoned vegetable. So it's got potatoes, zucchini, and carrots with Mediterranean inspired seasonings. And then this one is a garden vegetable medley with sugar snap peas, roasted potatoes, red peppers, and garden herbs. So that looked good. And then this family size one is the one that I got to go with a dinner one night for the kids to eat. My husband and I won't eat this just because we are watching and limiting our carbs a lot more than we are for the kids. So this is pasta, broccoli, carrots, and cheese sauce. Again, the family size. So hopefully they like that. Last little snack for the kids. Um, they love these and I don't mind feeding them this instead of certain chip brands. So these are the veggie straws, sea salt, 30% less fat, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and my kids love it. So that is definitely a good selling point. So I got that completely out of chocolate syrup and um, I, I go back and forth between buying chocolate milk and then buying the syrup to make chocolate milk. So it's time to buy the syrup. I got the sugar free. The kids like that and of course it's you know good healthy, healthier for them. Then I saw this. Now we typically buy a different kind of syrup and we've been liking it and it's definitely cheaper but I saw this and I love this brand in the pancake mix that I've picked up in the past. So I figured I would try this. Plus it has some extra stuff in here. So this is magic syrup, mind body maple flavored monk fruit syrup with grass fed collagen and MCT oil. So I am going to, because this is more on the pricey side, I'll probably save the other cheaper syrup for the kids because it is still um, on the healthier side for them, but it's cheaper. And then I'll save this for when I'm making something specific that my husband and I are eating because we are being a lot more strict with our sugar and carb intake, like I mentioned. So again, that was pretty pricey, but I wanted to try it because I already have liked things from this brand. Only one produce thing because we picked up everything we needed from Trader Joe's, but I made the meal plan and I forgot that I needed some salad for dinners. So I went ahead and got this organic spring mix. It has baby lettuce and then baby greens already washed and ready to eat. And last but not least, I got a drink for all the kids only because I saw this. <laughs> I was looking for the Zevia and I went down the wrong aisle and this caught my eye near the juices. And if you guys are not new, you know my daughter Pearl loves Jojo Siwa. She has several of the bows and anything with her on it, Pearl is just all over. So I picked this up and I was like, okay, well I can't just get one thing for Pearl. I've got to get something for everybody. So I got a Jojo Siwa apple juice and it does come with a little toy. It's spring water with vitamins, naturally flavored apple. Um, so I got that for Pearl and one for Rose. And then it's definitely more childlike figures and stuff. So nothing that my son Bryce would absolutely go bonkers over, but they do like the Hotel Transylvania movie, so I picked up the little boy for Bryce. Again, same thing, it's Apple, it does have a little toy. And then my oldest daughter would kill me if I brought her home a little juice sippy cup. <laughs> so I got her her favorite water. She loves this core water. Um, you guys have seen me pick that up before. So I got the kids some drinks because we are gonna be making s'mores this weekend, so I figured we might as well just have some little fun drinks on the side. So that is everything from Walmart to finish out our grocery haul for the week. Okay, meal plan and grocery hauls, check, check, check. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next week is we are going to be leaving on Friday for a family vacation and we are going to be gone for nine days. So I only have a few days out of the week that we actually need groceries. So it should be super, super tiny. But if you guys like grocery hauls, give this one a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you join my community and I will see you guys in the next one.